We have Jeffrey back here, an exercise specialist at the Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute. Mm -hmm. um, snowshoes. I've actually snowshoed before. It is a workout. It's a very good workout, and this routine I'm about to show you will help improve your ability snowshoe wise to uh, ascend and descend the mountaintop or okay. the mountainside. Does it help get you in shape for snowshoeing? And, That's correct. And you know, it's hard enough to walk like in flippers. These oh. are even harder. Yes, they are very <laughs> difficult to walk in. So okay. uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to start off by doing some step downs. All right. Now this exercise is going to help strengthen the knee joint, which is comes in very handy for descending. Uh, the, yeah, that's the, the tough track. part. I think going up is easier than coming down on the knees. I think so too. Yeah. Yes. So what you're going to do is simply step down with the right leg until it's flat on the ground, mm -hmm. and then you're going to step back up with the left. Okay. Plain and simple. And switch. Going to do two sets of twelve per leg. Okay. So nice and easy. Really. All right helps to strengthen that knee joint. It's kind of an you unusual wanna, uh, yeah. movement. You so. don't want to plop down. Correct. You, you just go okay. nice and slow. Oh, I like that. And okay. so after we do our sets of those, we're going to move into um, reverse calf raises. Okay. Now I'm going to use this snowshoe, might as well since I brought them in, okay. as a uh, stability prop. We're going to come up onto the heels. Oh. And back down. The you do need a balance, don't absolutely. you? Absolutely. You do need something to hold you on to. You can hold on against the wall there. Mm -hmm. You might want to grab one of these, okay. Mary. Well, actually, they're not working very well. <laughs> All right. So this strengthens the tibialis anterior muscle. This helps prevent and shin, that, splints shin splints from going okay. upward and walking through the thinking. snow. Okay. Yes. The front part of the, well, the that shin, basically. You do need a wall, don't you? Yeah, it's a lot better okay. when you have a wall. All right. So anyways, we're well, that's a good idea. finished with that no one, two sets splits. of 10 okay. to 15. Then we're going to move into one of my favorites for building the hip flexor muscle, the isolated standing hip flexor or hip flexion exercise. Okay. So you're going to hold the weight down here. You're going to come up, and you basically should balance that on okay. your thigh there, but you can hold your hands for stability. And back down, you're just going to hold that for a couple of seconds. All right. Up and down. You probably don't even need the weight, right? You don't need it. Okay, the so weight is just a little extra. All right. So okay. uh, you're going to do about two sets of 10 reps per leg. Right. So then obviously switch you're just like this. I can see how that will really help because that's the motion you're going to be using when you when you Definitely. Shoot. Yes. All and right. then uh, I don't know if you have time for one more. The lying leg curls. I'll just uh, one do more. this real fast. Okay. And oh my gosh. Going to. Uh, Take this position here, curl the weight up like so. Very cool. Great for the hamstrings, which hands. are a key muscle group when doing any aerobic activity. All right. These exercises will help you be a better snowshoer, or at least not be so yes. sore. And okay. two sets of 12 reps of this Two one. sets. Okay. Forgot Jeffrey, thanks so much. We're out of time now and some great exercises. Snowshoeing is fun and a big workout. Oh, it yes. sure is. Oh, it is. And look at that workout. Yeah. That's good, too. I'll have to try that one. No. Have you done that before, Ron? Yes. Like that. That's tiny Ron's weight. Ron's acting like oh, he's done that. Just... I do that with 50 pounds. Oh, do, do your calves look like that? I want to see the picture proof. <laughs> oh, 